Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. This video is a part of the miscellaneous series and in this miscellaneous series we are talking about several aspects of ComSol multiphysics simulations which are relevant for your modeling. Do watch the entire playlist because this is going to help you a lot. Today we will be talking about 0D. Before we move on to the 0D, let us focus on other options so 3D. In 3D you have seen there is a cuboid option. Basically 3D represents three spatial coordinate directions. If you are working with Cartesian it will be X, Y and Z axis. When it has three Cartesian coordinate axis that means you are representing a space. When it is 2D then you are representing a plane and it has only two directions. In Cartesian if you were working on it would be X and Y per se and it will be restricted to a plane and that's why the symbol is also given symbol of a plane. In 1D you are only working on a particular direction say either X, Y or Z direction in Cartesian. So if I just tell you one example like if you if you are solving for heat transfer in a in a single one dimensional where in that case your 1D, 1D will be necessary. And this 2D axisymmetric and this 1D axisymmetric, I have already talked about it. In 2D axisymmetric, what we do is we solve on a particular plane and then we revolve around it. If there is a plane of symmetry, then what we get, although you are solving on a particular plane, you get data for a space. And that's why this is a kind of pseudo 3D. And in 1D axisymmetric, you solve on a line and, in, and again you revolve around and then what happens you get data on a particular plane so this is a kind of pseudo 2d now what is 0d so accordingly 0d means it does not have any spatial coordinate directions then you may ask me then what we are solving for what actually we are solving it so this in this case we are basically solving for time variable Although if it is not a spatial coordinates function dependent function, it may be a time dependent function for say if you are working with chemical reactions in ideal cases chemical reactions or rate of the reaction does not depend on space. It only depends on time. If you just remember rate kinet kinetic say minus dc dt is equal to kc to the power n. So nowhere you have the option of space. So in this case you don't need any space. You need only time coordinate and that is your 0D. In other cases also like you are solving for electrochemistry, you are studying an electrochemical reaction, say you are studying heat transfer in a lumped capacity heat transfer. That means you have a small ball and you are looking at the ball temperature with respect to time and you are considering that in the entire ball is at same temperature. So in those cases you are actually dealing with time coordinate only and those are 0D. So let me just go to this 0D. So if you see only restricted physics options are there because most of the physics are dependent on space also. In this regard I will just tell you two terminologies and these are very important. One is your kinetics and the other is dynamics. So just remember kinetics is something which only depends on time and it does not depend on space. But dynamics is something which depends on both space and time. Now let me give you some specific example in kinetics like chemical reaction kinetics minus dc dt is equal to k c to the power n. In this case there is no space only time so this is a kinetics. In dynamics, let us take one example. Suppose uh, through a pipe fluid is flowing and you are looking at velocity vectors at different spatial coordinates. So what happens in a pipe if you just fix at a particular point. So the velocity will be dependent on that coordinate as well as it may change with respect to time if it is a transient or unsteady flow. So it depends on space and time. What depends on space and time your velocity vector. So that velocity vector will be a dynamics. That's why we call 
flow dynamics we call chemical reaction kinetic so i mean there are logic we don't call i mean you, there should be some logic without any logic we don't call kinetics and dynamics so those are clear now now let me take one example say reaction kinetics reaction engineering this is the name of the physics here and as it depends on time obviously i should take time dependent option Now I'll just show you the options. I'll not do any simulation today. Uh, so just right click on reaction engineering and you have multiple options, but uh, we should be interested in this reaction. So in this option, I mean here you can define your reaction. Suppose you have, you have a reaction like adduct formation reaction, say A plus B. I'm just telling it might be different also. A plus B giving C. If you click on apply, so what will happen? You see species A, species B and species C is already chosen. So this is the reaction I have chosen and uh, equilibrium expression, it has taken automatic from the last atelier principle or something. You can also make it user defined where you can change this equilibrium constant as per your wish. You can define the initial concentration rate of the individual species like this is A. So you can actually define all those things. You can define the charge if there is any. So those are the options. But one thing you notice there is nothing called space in this entire reaction engineering. And that's why this is kinetics or zero D. You have other options like uh, if you see reversible reaction group. So if you click here automatically by default those expressions for the reversible reactions are given. If you see it, this is the overall reaction rate and it depends on the components. So those are the reactants and those are the products. And this is actually multiplication symbol you all know. So, I mean, one arbitrary expression is given. You can modify it. Now, let us go to other examples. So, we talked about reaction kinetics. Now, let us go to heat transfer. You see, I have already talked about it. This is lump thermal system. Lump means you, your space, you have a space, but what you are assuming in the entire space, the temperature is constant, but this is an unsteady process. So what will happen over a period of time, the temperature of that particular space will change and you can write capital T is a function of small t. That means temperature is only a function of small t and this is called lumped parameter and you can actually calculate. You have structural mechanics suppose you have some structure where you have a time dependent load and your position or deflection will only change with respect to time in those cases you can have again you have mathematics option because in mathematics you define differential equations and your differential equations could be a function of only time it may not depend on space so if you look at so this is the global ODEs or DAEs, general equations uh, which are dependent on time only. So you can work with that also. You have option for plasma. I have not worked with it. So I cannot tell. You have electric current option. You already know electric current does not depend on space. It's a function of time only. So that electric current you can solve and those are the options available in 0D. So I hope this video was helpful. I request you to subscribe to our channel because we are uploading more videos on engineering, mathematics, ComSol, multiphysics and other related topics. We will again come with numerical methods with Python and that's why I request you to stay, stay tuned with our channel. Thank you very much.